Throughout the process, your team will collect artifacts. That's the topic of today's episode. Artifacts is something you make, like a tool to solve a problem. In Scrum, the three main artifacts are the product backlog, the sprint backlog, and the increment with your definition of done. They're the three constants that you'll continue to revisit and invest in over time. Hello, Megan Cook here, Group Product Manager for Jira Software at Atlassian, the makers of Jira and other collaboration tools. In this series, we've been discussing the practices and the people needed to use Scrum. We talk about how Scrum works and the ceremonies your team will go through, as well as the roles each person will play in the process. First, you have your product backlog, that master to-do list of user stories, features, requirements, enhancements, and fixes. The product owner maintains this and uses it to plan your sprint backlog, which is the list of items of user stories that the development team is working on in the current sprint to complete the increment, which is also known as the sprint goal. This is the third Scrum artifact. The increment is the usable end product from a sprint. At Atlassian, we usually show off the increment during the end of sprint demo, where the team shares what was completed in the sprint. Some teams consider the increment to be whatever their definition of done is, a milestone, a sprint goal, or the full version of shippable product, regardless of whether or not it's actually shipped. Every team has a different definition of done though, so make sure to work with your team to clarify yours. And speaking of done, you're done with this intro to Scrum series. Now you're familiar with the basics of what Scrum is, why so many teams use it and how it works, including the ceremonies, roles, and artifacts. We're just getting started, so make sure to follow our channel for the latest episodes and watch the next series about sprint planning.